Hello friends, I am Dr. Chira Gadroja and today we discuss about palpation of respiratory system. Palpation is carried out to confirm all inspectory findings. So in palpation first we confirm all inspectory, inspectory findings. Here we divide palpation in this six part. First we describe about measurement of enterophosphory and transverse diameter of chest, then measurement of chest expansion, then equality of chest movement, then position of mediastinum, then tactile local parameters, then some other findings for palpation. So first we described about measurement of AP and transverse diameter of chest. By measuring this diameter, we can uh, confirm about the type, size, shape and type of chest. So then how to measure this AP and transverse diameter of chest? For measurement of transverse diameter or AP diameter, we need these two cards. For transverse diameter, one card is put here, second one is here and measure distance between these two cards. For measurement of anterior posterior diameter, one card put anteriorly another card in posteriorly and measure distance between these two cards. For measurement of chest expansion, it done measure, measurement done at the site of nipple in case of male and in case of female it done at below the breast and ask patient to take a deep expiration and then measure again in deep inspiration then see the difference between two measurement it is called measurement of chest expansion. Normal chest expansion is about 5 to 8 centimeters. But it reduces in case of emphysema, ankylosing spondylitis, interstitial lung disease, systemic sclerosis, and extensive bilateral disease of lung. Sometimes in case of emphysema and ankylosing spondylitis, chest expansion reduced to less than one centimeter. So by this measuring this, this measurement, we can this, this confirm about severity of disease also. Then equality of chest movement. Equality of chest movement is almost equal chest movement is almost equal in both side of chest and it is symmetrical we can uh, measure this we can assess this chest movement in three part in a apical anterior and posterior anterior posterior is also in upper part or middle part and lower part so now let first describe about apical chest movement in apical chest movement ask patient to sit in stool and put all finger in supraclavicular fossa and ask patient to take a deep inspiration and expiration. Here we, ass here we see upward movement of finger. So here we assess pump handle movement of chest. By assessing normally the upward movement is equal in both side of lungs, both side of chest and it is a symmetrical. But if movement is reduced to one side, it indicates there is upper lung fibrosis or collapse or pulmonary tuberculosis which is affected mostly in apical area of lung. Anteriorly it is measured uh, assess in upper part of chest, middle part of chest and lower part of chest. By normally uh, by uh, examiner hand is put in like this way and ask patient to take a deep inspiration. See uh, distance of these two thumb upper, uh, two thumb from central line. Normally the distance between these two fingers is those two thumb is equal and it is uh, equal from central line but in case of affected lung area it is a restricted movement of thumb to that side in case of posteriorly it is also from it is also checking in upper part middle part and lower part chest movement is restricted in case of pleural effusion pneumonia extensive consolidation collapse and fibrosis of lung. In all this disease, diminution movement is seen in case of affected side. So affected in chest movement is restricted or decrease in affected side of lung. Then we see position of mediastinum. Position of mediastinum assessed by two methods. First in position of trachea and position of impulse, apex impulses. Position of apex impulse we describe in case of inspection and palpation of cardiovascular system examination. But for your respiratory system, we should remember apex impulse present in fifth intercostal space just inside to mid clavicular line. Position of trachea in inspection we described about trail sign and sternocleidomastoid sign. It is an inspectory finding, not a palpatory finding. By palpation we confirm a deviation of trachea. For this there are three methods. One is a uh, one finger method. In this uh, index, index finger is directly uh, pushed or inserted in a suprasternal fossa. 
In case of grossly deviated trachea, here you see a trail sign, prominent of clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid, it is called trail sign, it indicates deviation of trachea, but by palpation, if we put one finger, index finger in supra, uh, suprasternal fossa, if trachea is deviated, then we cannot uh, palpate tracheal ring to here. Another is a two finger method, in two finger method, one index finger and one index finger and middle finger is used. In index finger is one index finger is put between trachea and sternomastoid to one side and another uh, middle finger is put to opposite side and assess depth as well as space between trachea and sternocleidomastoid muscle. If trachea is deviated to one side, that side depth and space between trachea and sternocleidomastoid is Reduce. Another is a three finger method. In three finger method, one index finger and ring finger is put in sternoclavicular joint and middle finger by middle finger trachea is traced like this way. If trachea is deviated to any side, then the distance between these two fingers is reduced at that side as we see in here. Here your trachea is centrally placed. So the distance between these two fingers and these two fingers is equal, while trachea is deviated to this side. So distance between these two fingers is reduced. Trachea is deviated to side of lesion in case of uh, fibrosis and collapse and pneumectomy, while away from lesion in case of pleural effusion, pneumothorax or upper mediastinal mass. This will also describe in case of inspectory part of our part 2 video. Another is a tactile vocal parameters. How to check tactile vocal parameters? For checking a tactile vocal parameters, put a ulnar border of a hand in intercostal space and ask two patient speak 111 or 999 and feel vibration by ulnar border of hand. All in all these tactile vocal parameters or our finding is simultaneously checked both sides. So if you put uh, of uh, hand here, then second ear, then ear, then ear, then ear, then ear, then ear, and compare tactile vocal parameters to the simultaneous part. So if you check anteriorly, then ear, then ear, then ear, posteriorly, then ear, then ear, then ear, apical area, first one put finger, ask patient to speak one, 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 two, ear, second one, ear, third one, ear, fourth one, ear. Tactile vocal parameters is increased in case of consolidation cavity and collapse of lung with patent bronchus. Here remember if collapse is done without patency of bronchus TVF reduce but if collapse with patent bronchus TVF is increased while well, TVF is reduced or absent or decreased in case of pleural effusion and pneumothorax. Other findings we not describe all finding in very uh, deeply because it makes our video is more lengthy. So other finding is we described in short and sweet manner. So there is a tracheal tug Oliver sign. By checking uh, this method, for checking a tracheal tug Oliver sign, ask patient to extend his neck and uh, by index finger and thumb finger, press liquid cartilage upward and feel tracheal tug. It's called positive if a downward tug is felt during a cardiac systole. It is seen in case of aortic wall, aortic wall aneurysm, aortic arch aneurysm, sorry. Or there is a tracheal descent during inspiration. In case of distance between suprasternal uh, uh, supra fossa, uh, suprasternal notch and lower border of tricoid cartilage is 3 to finger breath. But in case of empyzema because of hyperinflation of lung, the distance is decreases. And it is more decreased during inspiration because pump handle movement of chest. So it is tracheal descent increase in case of empyzema during inspiration. Other one is the tenderness, tenderness of rib, intercostal space and precordium is checked. In case of rib, tenderness present in case of fracture of ribs. In case of intercostal space, tenderness is present it's because of pleurisy or impyma. In case of precordial, if a tenderness is present, it is because of neurocircular asthenia. Another one is a localized swelling, it we described in inspectory finding, inspection, other is a crepitation. Crepitation is felt in chest in case of subcutaneous emphysema, it is also called surgical emphysema. Ronchial parameters, if a ronchi is uh, palpated by 
hand or ulnar border of hand it is called ronchial femitus if capitation is palpable then it's called palpable rails and friction femitus friction femitus it is a plural palpated by bare hand it's seen in case of pleurisy of pleura pleurisy of chest a lung so if you like this palpatory finding of our video then please subscribe my channel and if you have any query or answer or any suggestion please comment i will definitely give answer thank you thank you very much